Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Phillipsburg is being brought to you by the Garnet Booster Club. Packed house in Fisher Stadium on the campus of Lafayette for the 114th playing of Phillipsburg against Easton. And once again, it was a battle until the end. A calm fort first half opened up in the second quarter. Cole Transu, one step fade to Juju Fears, who reels in the catch on the sidelines for a 35 yard gain. Red Rovers with the big play. Sticking to the airmail, Transu looking for Fears again, this time in the end zone, but he's intercepted by Tristan Canzano, and the state liners take over. Going off schedule right away, trick play on the reverse pass for Peberg, and Easton steals it right back. Bryce Billings with the pick, weaving through traffic, cuts all the way back to the home sidelines, and is finally pushed out of bounds in state liner territory. This sets up Easton for a field goal, but it's blocked and scooped up by Hakeem Ransdell. State liners take over, but they did not learn their lesson. Toss to Canzano, throw back to Jaki McLean, child's play for Javion Thompson, who steps in front for the pick, and their momentum is spoiled. Malik Warren brings the potatoes to dinner, sack to close out the first half. Lots of defensive action, but still 0-0. After one. Just over eight minutes to play in the third. McLean, student body right. Huge hole opens up and he bursts through. You're not arm tackling him. Big gain, McLean scoots for 32 yards on the QB run to set up the field goal attempt from Matt D'Onofrio. He's good from 37 yards out and Phillipsburg leads three to nothing. End of the third quarter, Transu to the air. Deep post down the middle to Thompson, who dives to boost his spectacular catch rating. And Easton is moving the ball in chunks. Red Rover, Red Rover, we send Marcus Williams over, but he's halted on the goal line stand. State liners hold and remain up by three. Less than two minutes to play. Phillipsburg looking to run the clock out. McLean on the keep, but he's stripped. Easton recovers on the 15 yard line going in. They look to capitalize, and they do. Transu hits Williams out of the backfield. He's uncovered in the end zone. Red Rovers take the lead and spoil the state liners Thanksgiving. Williams was denied earlier, but not this time. He scores the game winning touchdown. Easton wins 7-3 in a hard-fought defensive battle. That was the name of the game all day long, but it was the Red Rovers who finally prevailed. From Lafayette College, for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Ken Bradley.